Hi everyone, I'm the Hufflepuff Queen and I thought I'd do my first YouTube video. So first of all I thought I would do a top 10 because I know you guys love seeing all of the pieces of merch that I have. So, well, actually it's top 12 because I couldn't possibly choose 10 and they're in no particular order because that again is way too hard for me. So I'm going to show you each item, tell you where I bought it from and if you like my first video please let me know in the comments and give me a subscribe. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so I love this. Um, I got this last weekend, it was from Hawkins Bazaar, which is a shop in the UK that sells like um, loads of joke stuff, things like that. And I saw that they had a Harry Potter collection. I was well excited about that. So this is a cauldron mug. It was 15 pounds. I was looking for the one in Primark, but sadly I haven't seen that one at all. So I thought I would get this one. It's great for all my um, photos on Instagram and things. Quite heavy. When I'm trying to hold it with one hand, that is a bit of a struggle when it's full. Um, it's got on the back, apothecary department. And um, yeah, it's really nice. And it does feel like a proper cauldron as well. So I've been having a bit of hot chocolate in that one. So that's the first item. Second item, um, I've had this like ages, I think since about the age of 10, 11, maybe a bit older, and it's a die cast replica of the night bus. So yeah, it's really nice, it's got loads of detail in it, so you've got like the chandelier inside, all the little beds, it'd be really cool if they actually like flew up and down the bus as you move it, that'd be really awesome, and you get tiny weeny little Harry figure as well which is cool I just keep this normally on my Harry Potter shelf and yes yeah, made of metal I don't know how much it was because I got it such a long time ago as a present so yeah really cool third item in June obviously it was 20 years of Harry Potter and I was really happy when they announced that they were going to be doing the house editions of the books so I naturally had to get my Hufflepuff one so here it is I'm sure quite a few of you have these. Um, I got mine from WH Smith and it came with a little bookmark as well, which was quite nice. I love the way that it's got the yellow and black on the side, house colours. It's got obviously the crest, fat fryers on the back, our house ghost. And inside you have got, let me just find it. Out Hufflepuff. You've also got, I love this, the map. It's so beautiful. And at the back, we've got about our head of house. I never thought Sprout looked like that, but there we go. <laughs> and you've got as well, um, somewhere in here. Yeah, a picture of our common room. And obviously, all um, you fellow Hufflepuffs will know that we, our common room isn't even in the film, so it's quite nice to see an actual image of it. But I'm just happy that it's near the kitchens. <laughs> okay, and finally, there's like a Hogwarts quiz. So that's a really cool piece of merch. Obviously, won't be around forever, so it's quite a collector's edition to have. And yeah, I plan on keeping this in pristine uh, condition on my shelf. Definitely. The next item, it's a cuddly Voldemort. Um, it's a Funko Pop one. My sister got it for me off Amazon. I think it was about £15 or so. It's really, really nice. Um, and it's just the cutest Voldemort I've ever seen. Even though I hate him, he's just adorable. And I really love this one. He's got his little cloak, his massive eyes. He's got his tiny nostrils, it's just a really nice piece of merch to have and makes me laugh all the time. So yeah, here he is. They also do Harry, Ron and Hermione, so some of my family have the other ones, which is really cool. Now I know a lot of you are quite jealous of the fact, obviously, that I've got quite a lot of the Hufflepuff stuff from Primark. Um, so one of my favourite items definitely has to be the blanket. 
Now this is so soft, it was six pounds. I was very lucky to get it. Um, they do seem to have stock of them again at the moment, so if you have a look. And it's just got the house crest all over it. It's just really, really nice. I put it sometimes at the end of my bed, other times I will just use it on the sofa. But it is really comfortable and such good quality for six pounds, definitely worth it. Haven't seen a nicer house edition blanket. They do all the different houses, so have a look, and also a Hogwarts one. So that is really nice. Yesterday, um, I got my third Geek Gear box it's from the World of Wizardry edition. It's a really good box, it's 20 pound a month, and you get six or seven items, um, and they're specific to different clues each month that they give you on like Facebook. It was my last one because I had a three month subscription and I was really, really happy to get this. So this is Harry, obviously, um, and it's just a really detailed figurine. I love it. I don't have a big Harry figure other than one from the Order of the Phoenix, which is smaller. Love the detail of his glasses, scar, creases on his jumper. It's just really, really nice. It will look amazing on my Harry Potter shelf. So definitely happy to add that to my collection. So another, another Primark purchase. Um, that I absolutely love is this. This Marauder's Map jumper. I've been wearing this quite a lot. I don't like to wear out too often like Harry Potter t-shirts and things, as, as cool as they are. Um, so I like this because it's subtle. and But everyone who likes Harry Potter knows exactly what it is. So it's very cool. Really cosy. I bought it a bit bigger, so it was swamping me a bit more. And yeah, this was about £11. So yeah, well worth the money. I'd recommend the jumper. This is probably my most prized Harry Potter possession, if I think about it. I got this at the studio tour. It was, I believe, £70, so quite expensive. But it is something I bought with birthday money. And it's this Hedwig replica in her cage. There is so much detail on this, it's kind of hard to hold on the camera. Let me just take it apart a bit a second. So, Here's the Hedwig in the cage, She's sitting on a little perch. And then on the base, we've got all the houses, and on the bottom, the logo. It's really, really nice. Again, it's something that I put on my Harry Potter shelf, and it just looks amazing, and it really does look real. So I definitely recommend that. They have lots of different replica items in like cabinets in the studio tour. And it's really, really good. This is another really old piece of merch, um, which I got uh, probably at age eight, I think. And it is this tiny little Hermione. It doesn't really look much like Hermione. Her hair is like really matted now. Um, and her outfit is horrendous, but it's really cool because it was from the Philosopher's Stone when it came out. She's got a little Crookshanks cat, which is white, not ginger, very weird. Um, and she did have a wand and it was magnetic, it picked up Crookshanks, but I lost that under the carpet like many moons ago. So this is what we've got left, but it's something that I've heard you can't really get on eBay anymore. It's very rare, so in years to come, probably be worth even more money. Shame I don't have the box, but it is really, really nice and something that not a lot of people have, which I do like. Because when I was younger, I had loads of Harry Potter stuff, and as the years have gone by, I haven't kept all of it. Now I'm recuperating my whole collection, but it's good to have the odd bit of old merch as well. So again, when it was the 20th anniversary, they brought out lots of um, different pieces of merch, but one of my favorites was this Time magazine. So this magazine came out this year in about June. It was out until this month, really. And I hadn't heard of Time before, not quite sure what it is, but it is a whole edition just about Harry Potter. There's a lot in there, loads. It took me ages to read it, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's all about 
fans of Harry Potter, obviously the actors themselves, how J.K. Rowling came to fame. It's got one of the best things is this timeline. So it shows you all the different events in Potter history, which is really cool. And again, it's something collectible, so I can keep this now for years to come when it's, say, the 50th anniversary, 100th, although I might not be around for that. But it is really, really good. And it's got this, like, family tree as well at the back, which is really cool. And this was £10, so a good price because it's like a book pretty much got well it's got more information than the studio tour guide so it's really really good one of my favorite pictures actually in it is um that's the real Voldemort <laughs> we're down to the last two I believe and this I got for my birthday I was desperate for Hufflepuff items when I got sorted into Hufflepuff on Pottermore this year and my boyfriend got me hard to show again on the camera but a Hufflepuff bathrobe it's got the badger obviously it's got my traits it's got here the crest it's really cozy made of fleece you can get it online don't know how much it is sadly sorry um, and yeah I wear it all the time especially now it's getting colder it's a really good thing to have and I love it So last item, this is really, really cool. It is Diagon Alley, the Rare Bit Puzzle Edition. It's a 3D puzzle. Um, so you get all the bits inside, you've got instructions obviously, and you build it in a special way just to make it like 3D. I keep this on my shelf. I mean, these puzzles take up a bit of room, but they are really, really nice. Here it is. I just love the detail on it. Fred and George's shop is my favorite. And then you've got Flourishing Blots, uh, Elops Owl Emporium, it's hard to tell backwards here, or well, that might be Madame Malkin's, Quality Quidditch Supplies, Ollivanders, um, and I've missed one. Which one is this? Oh yeah, that one's Madame Malkin's right at the end. Yeah, really nice, I love the little chimneys, and they do now figures in Asda, which are really perfect size to go with this. So I bought some of those, they're called Metal Fix, so they're really, really cool. So that is my last item for this top 10. So that's my first video, I've got loads more to come. They'll only keep getting better and better as I go on. Uh, leave me a comment to let me know what you thought of it, and next, will be a bedroom tour. Bye guys!